Hi, hello, welcome back. Today we will discuss about CT signs of acute stroke. Acute strokes are either embolic etiology or due to thrombotic etiology. Embolic strokes occur from a pre-existing carotid plaque or can be cardiogenic or paradoxical sometimes. Thrombotic strokes occur due to intracranial arthromatous disease. Stroke imaging can be performed in either CT or MRI. MRI is more sensitive in diagnosing acute ischemic strokes. However, CT is more widely available and is faster. CT signs can occur as early as within 45 minutes. A 1% increase in the water within the cerebral parenchyma decreases the attenuation by 2.4 HU. At least 8 HU difference is required to identify ischemia related changes. A window width of 40 and a window level of 40 is widely accepted as a stroke window. This ratio can help us predict the prognosis in cases of acute MCA stroke. Early signs of hyperacute or acute ischemic stroke on CT are insular ribbon sign, dense MCA sign, obscuration of lentiform nucleus, hypoattenuation of brain tissue, loss of sulcal effacement, provost sign or vulpian sign. A hyperdense vessel sign is due to intralominal thrombus, loss of insular ribbon sign, obscuration of lentiform nucleus, loss of grey matter white matter distinction are due to cytotoxic edema. Areas of hypotenuation represent area of irreversible infarction. Sulcal effacement is due to mass effect caused by the infarction. Here is a 40 year old female who presented with acute left sided weakness. Here in this CT scan, non contrast enhanced CT scan, you can appreciate loss of normal lenticular hyperdensity. This sign is called lenticular obscuration. Here again, you can also see loss of gray white matter distinction on right side, that is. There is loss of grey matter white matter difference between insula and adjacent extreme capsule. These are the signs of hyperacute infarct. Illustration showing the normal insular cortex on left side and normal lentiform nucleus. On right side you can appreciate loss of grey white matter distinction between insular cortex and extreme capsule and also you can appreciate loss of lenticular hyperdensity to the other sign stroke window narrow window you can appreciate the sulcal effacement on right side compared to the left side the gray white matter distinction is again lost on right side you can also appreciate loss of insular ribbon sign on right side coming down inferiorly you can appreciate the hyperdense mca sign in this case dense mca sign is due to presence of RBC thickly packed RBC within the right MCA. So patients with dense MCA sign on plain CT scan have better chances of thrombus being easily removed with the thrombectomy devices compared to people who don't have a visible dense MCA sign. Coming to the next sign Prevost sign or Vulpian sign it is nothing but a conjugate eye deviation to the affected cerebral hemisphere in patients with acute ischemic stroke that is the deviation the conjugate eye deviation will be to the opposite side of the hemiparesis similar to the dense MCA sign in MCA infarctions you can also appreciate dense basilar artery sign in cases of posterior circulation strokes. These are more challenging to diagnose compared to dense MCA sign. In brief, these are the CT signs of hyperacute or acute stroke. Whenever in doubt, we should never hesitate to perform a diffusion MRI, which is gold standard in ischemic stroke diagnosis. Thank you very much. Hope this video was useful for you.